What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the safety and security of Apple's iPhone lineup on iOS 7. So I just want to make sure that all of you guys know your iPhone is not currently safe on the latest iOS 7.1.1 firmware. Now this bypass is something I personally found, I spent a few days in California looking for it, and I found what I was looking for. I can show you how to get around this passcode on any device on the latest 7.1.1 firmware within 5 seconds, and it's so easy. It's just, it boggles my mind that something like this could still be found in the latest iOS firmware. Now I asked currently earlier today, is it possible to do? And those that answered yes, you're absolutely right. Five seconds, someone's iPhone, a missed call, and you guys are in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this and prepare to be amazed. I personally couldn't believe it when I found it. I'm like, really Apple? You would leave this in the latest firmware and patch all those other, you know, complicated bugs. So let's go ahead and see what this is. Now there's two things I'm going to show you real quick. First off, I am running the latest firmware on my iPhone 5S of iOS 7. And if I go into Touch ID and Passcode, I want to show you I do have a passcode enabled on my device. And Touch ID is also enabled, but Touch ID has nothing to do with this. It can be either enabled, disabled, it makes no matter. Anyways, there is a passcode. And I'm not even going to touch the home button, so you don't think it's Touch ID. And I did say five seconds. But before I start this, I'm just going to go ahead and open up Messages. All right. So... One, two, three, four, and well, it took three, four seconds, and I'm inside your phone without ever putting in the passcode. And I can get access to any application that was currently open while you locked your device. So if it was open on messages, I get into messages. If it was opened up on phone or a bank application, you can get into it, and it works with anything. The only requirement is that you must have access to the control center and that you must have a missed call on the phone, and those are both fairly easy enough. So just like that, you know, you can get into the iOS system. Anyways, let me just show you real quick again. You just enable airplane mode, slide down, and click on a missed call. Just like that, you're inside the system without ever putting in the passcode. And if I click on a this guy right here, I'm back at the lock screen. So it's not 100% access into iOS. However, it's enough, you know, for anyone trying to get into your messages or anything that's open, you can. And it's so simple to do. I could not believe this exists in iOS 7. And now I'm just going to show you real quick how to protect yourselves before Apple fixes it. Let me go ahead and enable my service again. And you always go into settings. It's as simple as it's just going to control center and access on lock screen, just turn that off and boom, you're done. Now let's say they removed access from the notification menu. You know, you can't slide down. You can still do this. If you call the phone or it has a missed call and the missed call is right here, you just slide on that with airplane mode on and you're inside the phone. So just go ahead and try this guys. It's so simple. I could not believe this exists and you know, protect yourselves, disable access to this until Apple fixes this. And this is currently working on iOS 7.1.1 on all devices. Anyways, guys, you know, protect yourselves. This will be patched very soon. I was just shocked that this exists in the latest version of iOS. And how many bypasses have we been through, guys? It's, you know, it's amazing to me that this could still be around. Anyways, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I do hope I shared with you how to protect your phone against potential thieves or snoopers. Have a great day, guys. Peace.